Hello world, welcome to my channel, Proteus Augustus. I'm an artist, scientist, and American constitutionist. And um, today is uh, November 2nd, 2023. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about my art. Um, if you go and you look at Primordial Tendency on YouTube, I could try to switch it over to Rumble but um, it's just as easy to go see it over there, right? But anyways, um, it seems like Rumble is giving me a lot more exposure. YouTube apparently does not like my posture or you know, my position on things or whatever the case may be, but I'm definitely getting more views on Rumble. Thank you so much. And um, anyways, um, so today what I wanna talk about is my oil paintings. It's part of my um, art project, right? And um, I want to declare some of the techniques that I use, right? Um, the thing is, is even if I don't declare the techniques, um, when I sell them, I have to disclose them because I have security features in my paintings that make them impossible to forge. I mean, you can't forge biometrics, right? You can't forge um, underpaintings and things, right? or other things. Anyways, I don't disclose what the underpaintings are, but this one right here that I'm working on right now is the fourth frame of this painting, of this work of art. What's underneath it you can't see, you don't know, I know, right? And if I incorporate biometrics into the, into the oil, right, that's preserved, right? That cannot be, I, you can't cre recreate me. You can't, and you can't recreate the the frames, the layers, right? So when the painting is complete and you see what is being projected to you, that's not the end of the story, right? So what I'm gonna do is x-ray fingerprinting, right? So I'm gonna do more of this. Some of my other paintings are have a lot of layers, but there isn't as, as deep of a, of a slant that I wanna be taking more so that there's more features that the painting cannot be, it can't be forged, it just can't. And, you know, when I was, um, you know, I've studied art history. Um, let, let me just say something, you know, um, a lot of people don't understand me. It seems like, um, you know, when I grew up as a boy, I was taught not to judge anybody but uh, a book from his cover, right? Not to judge anybody by their integument. But, you know, try to get to the core person, see who this person is, right? But um, it seems like a lot of people, uh, you know, they look at me and they they think I'm somebody I'm not, right? And every time I get them in a pinch, you know, my intellect and my skills, um, that's how I create enemies, right? And I don't mean to, but I can't let people do that to me. I'm a Christian man, right? But anyways, um, you know, um, with respect to the... Um, the paintings and, and my other, um, you know, polymathic um, abilities, um, you know, come from the fact that I invested a lot of time in my brain. You know, a lot of people invest time in their gut and in their integument and their outward presentation and their ability to um, stoke in other people emotions, right? Listen, you know, I was in the library six days a week for a couple of years or so while I was getting my degree as a homeless person in Boston. That's why I started my art project, right? I spent hours and hours studying in the library all of this stuff that I know, right? Educating myself on art history, the law, um, things of this nature. You know, getting down to the root of really um, some of these theocracies around the world and why they're fighting and all this other stuff, right? And um, I try to incorporate some of that stuff in my art project. But, um, so I've invested a lot of time and money into my brain, more than my stomach, right? That's why I'm the person I am today, for better or worse, it don't matter. But I mean, you know, um, when push comes to shove, people can't deny how I handle issues, right? 
And um, the whole point I'm trying to make is, right, this painting right here has different layers. You're not going to understand it, right, fully. Well, you're not going to get the entire presentation unless you purchase it, right? And you and you keep that secure, right? And you can see the different layers, or at least my attempt on the layers and the biometrics is really... Um, and then, you know, so I'm working on this painting right now, right? And like I said, this is the fourth frame. And before I take the picture of the fourth frame, I'm going to work around the... Um, you know, the the um, the head area, I'm gonna, you know, do a little bit more outline, and now I'm gonna build up this beard area more, right? So if we go over and we look at it, right, a little closer, right, you can see how I'm starting to texture the paint, right? <clears throat> this is another technique, right? So this is all, this is all like the third frame right here, this texture, Right, the glass is uh, on in, into the fourth frame already. That's the only thing that's in the fourth frame, right? But I try to use different, you know, brush strokes and textures, right, to build up the paint. Right, that's kind of like, you know, uh, Van Gogh's, um, you know, rub off on me. I mean, you know, you got to see this guy's work, right? So, I I'm now gonna build this painting up, right? And um, that's where I'm at with it, right? So this is a standalone piece, right? It isn't part of my art project. It's just what I'm going to do with this is eventually um, these two uh, glasses, these are more like binoculars, right? They're not really, it's like I'm looking into you, right? I'm seeing what you're doing. Right, and some very tragic events happened that impinged my eyeballs and went in my brain. So on um, these these two binocular glasses, uh, two different canvases, right? So each one is gonna have a smaller um, representation inside each one of those glasses once I build up the binoculars, right? And um, I haven't really decided what the title of the painting is yet. Right, um, but anyways, um, that's why I'm at with this. That's what I'm working on. So um, until next time, uh, think free, be free, and most importantly, eat free. And that means food for your mind also, right? Don't stop living. <laughs> It'll only make you stronger. You know, hopefully, um, you know, my studying, um, prevents me from, um, going crazy, <laughs> you know, like getting, um, you know, what this dementia stuff. I mean, at 63, you know, uh, my machine ain't, you know, is damaged <laughs> and, uh, you know, you know, Christ is blessing me with the ability to still, uh, make my dinner. <laughs> Anyways, take care, everybody.